children can write their own stories based on their experiences in the community and listening to their people. It's not so much that I write the book. It's important for them to value their experiences. And some of the adults, I remember my sister being interviewed. She said, well, what do I know anyway? I don't know all this stuff. She knew everything. But it's we have people in the community who don't always know how important their experiences are to our children. And so we've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, But it's getting better, I, I think. And that's making parents, grandparents feel good about themselves and how they can help their children and what's important in life. So it's important to read and do math and do some of those things, but it has to be part of your own culture, part of your place that makes learning um, significant. We can learn a lot of things in school, but we forget them. But we don't forget what's important to us and what we what we know about how we where we live. Yeah, and uh, realize how much we needed to have more in the ed way of education about um, getting our children to know more about the forest. You know, we go in there, we take a lot of things for granted. It's beautiful, it's where we go up, it's where we play. It's, um, it's what helps our community grow. It just does a lot of things. It's part of our culture. It's where we get our medicines, it's where we, you know, get the maple syrup, it's where, it's where we have all the things that we need to make us survive. So, so as I got older, you know, people just valued the forest so all the time. It was who we were, the Menominee, were known by our forest. And so becoming a teacher, it was important for us, our students to learn about that. And probably most important when I got on the board and people are are really um, concerned about what goes on and what trees you cut and where they're cut. And, um, and so at some of our annual meetings and things, we, we pretty get much get told what people are thinking. And many, many times there's misconceptions about what is going on. And um, I, I just really knew the importance of doing these things in school because People who work in the mill and in the forest, uh, the loggers, or even go in the woods to fish and hunt, need to know what's going on. This place is important. It's important to keep it in trust. It's important to save our land. I think among other tribes that are traveling around the country and are listening to uh, people who are, have wisdom, tribal leaders with great wisdom. I always said the most important thing is preserve your land, you know, keep your language and keep your people together. So so we have to do that and we, we have to know our place and we have to know about our place and we have to know how to sustain it, keep it alive, keep it going. And so as I go from being looking at how I was raised as a child to how I've come to be a an elder, um, and looking at how others will travel through that world, they, they have to know, and they're not getting the same education we have. They're not having the same experiences, although there are a lot of efforts by our tribe for uh, cultural activities or um, learning the language. We have just people who have made valuable, have dedicated their lives to helping our tribe survive.